Hey everyone, FPS Chazzle here, and today I'm going to show you a much easier way to have multiple mods for Dangerous Waters, uh, quote unquote, installed all at the same time. Uh, if you've seen my previous video, you know I used JSGME, which is what Loami uses to install itself to Dangerous Waters, as a way to try and have Reinforce Alert and Loami installed at the same time, but this doesn't really work too well. For example, if you have files here in the scenario folder already in dangerous waters using the jsgme with ra can result in certain missions getting overwritten or not removed when jsgme is disabled it's very complicated so i would recommend you actually don't do that there may be a reason when you would want to use ra with jsgme and i'll get into that later i think in the conclusion but for now i would say don't do that and let's instead show you a much easier way to have multiple mods. So I'm not going to actually install any mods. That's beyond the scope of this video. I'm just going to show you what you need to do in order to have multiple mods ready to play at any moment. I won't actually be installing Dangerous Waters or any mods in this video. I'm just going to be showing you what to do because it's no more complicated than this. So let's just say me creating this new folder called Dangerous Waters is the same as me installing Dangerous Waters. So we've just installed Dangerous Waters, and this is now stock. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and copy this, just copy this installation, and then call it, in this example, stock. So now we have two Dangerous Waters installation folders. One, this one right here that has this proper name of Dangerous Waters is where all of your shortcuts for Dangerous Waters will look for this folder with this proper name. They will not look for these folders that have this suffix of stock. So now let's say we just installed Reinforce Alert in this folder here. Reinforce Alert is now active. Stock is disabled. So let's go ahead and actually turn on stock. Turn off RA. So we're going to name our, our Reinforce Alert folder. We're going to append this suffix underscore RA. So now neither of these are installed at the moment. And we're going to delete stock here. So now Dangerous Waters is back to stock. You don't have to change any of your shortcuts. You don't have to change anything like that. All you have to do is change the names of folders. So let's say we now want to install Luami. So now we got our stock version of Dangerous Waters active right now. We can go ahead and copy that. Call this stock. And then we can install Luami in this folder. So this is now Luami, but we don't want to name it this, right? This is the active installation, so we want it to just say Dangerous Waters. So let's now turn off our Luami version and play our RA version. So first we're going to come, you have to first name the active folder to something else and then take an, un, an inactive folder and name it back to normal. Otherwise it'll say you have two folders of the same name. So now RA is turned on and Lawami is off. So that, that pretty much, that's all there is to this method. I think it's really simple. It's very easy to do. Uh, the only drawback as opposed to JSGME is that it might take up some more space, but Dangerous Waters is such a small game at this point in time that it's only going to be about two gigabytes per folder, so it's really not that much space. But if you really are hard pressed for space, if you really want to use JSGME, let me know in the comments below and I can try and look into making a video on how to actually use RA with JSGME, but I think, I don't think there's any benefit to it. You save a little space. With JSGME, you have to wait for it to move fold, move files and folders around in and out every time you turn on or off something. With this, you're just renaming things. There's no copying or pasting or anything. It's instantaneous. And this is also helpful because Loami and RA have different databases for their platforms, so you couldn't share the same missions anyway between them. It, it usually would not work because they'd be referencing different units, so it would be buggy anyway. So you'll keep your Loami and RA installations separate. It works better for those mods because they're complete overhaul mods. They're not just graphics mods. If you have graphics mods, you can use JSG, JSGME for that, like my red 688i station mod. But uh, anyway, that'll be it for this video. hope this helped. Please use this method. Very simple, very easy to do. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one, and as always, good hunting.